how do I meet people in China? This is the story of a young American man looking for his home in China. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. kind of hard. <laughs> My English is so not good. You can ah. find uh, someone who's good. I'm a very deep person and many of my greatest friendships in life have been defined by spirituality, mindfulness, and meditation. And since I moved to China in 2019, I've made great strides in this core area of my life, but all on my own. I just thought that the language and cultural barriers were so great that it would be so difficult, if not impossible, to find or create any kind of spiritual group in China. I've just recently moved to Ningbo, a city on the east coast of China, and this video is me asking the question, can I connect on a deep spiritual level to people in a typical Chinese city? What I really want to do is create a community of unconditional love, a community where we can sit together in a circle and meditate upon our hearts connecting upon the world uniting in peace. To search every corner of this bustling metropolis to build this conscious community has got to be my most meaningful adventure yet. Ain't that pretty or what? I just had these flyers printed out as a kind of promotion of my meditation group. Shout out to my Chinese teacher, Fei. I wouldn't have been able to make these and write them all in Chinese without her. So over the next upcoming days and weeks, I'm gonna be going around recruiting people for this meditation group. Two months have passed since I first started the creation of this video. I'm happy to say I've got a meditation group. I am super excited about the potential of what I can create together with this group. Okay, thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Noah and I've been meditating for four years now. Meditation has changed my life in, in more ways than I can express. The, the kind of meditation that we will practice in this group is called compassion meditation. It's the practicing of this feeling of kind of like a loving kindness, this feeling in your heart that like you can, you can heal uh, anyone or anything in, in the outside world just by like spreading this feeling of love from your heart. And so at first we're going to be working on cultivating this, this sense of loving kindness for ourselves, this compassion for ourselves, and then eventually uh, we'll really grow it very strong so that we're, we feel like we're able to spread it to the universe. So in this group, it doesn't matter what language you speak or where you come from, as long as you have a desire to create peace for yourself and others, this is the group for you. I'm really grateful to you all for, for being here and being a part of this. And during the meditation, I envisioned this monk like in this very hidden cave. I think he had been living in that cave and meditating in that cave for a very long time. But you know, after years of meditation in that cave, I don't know how to explain it. Like he was, he was so far away from the rest of the world, but he felt so connected to like this monk he could he could in his mind like close his eyes and he could see he could see us like meditating together he can see i don't know children in argentina playing soccer 
he, he can, he's like, con he's so connected with the world even though he's in this cave. Meditation, it can be the answer to so much in your life and in my life, yeah. I'm like the superficial because I'm like only beginning to understand what meditation is. What I did is uh, I closed my eyes, shut my mind, taking out all the garbage in my heart and my mind uh, to see what's really left inside of me. At first that's it popped up in my mind it was kind of uh, a grassland. I was sitting on the grassland and maybe it's near the sea, near the ocean. And then uh, a yellow cat. And after that there were more animal cats and then white cats, black cats and all the colorful cats and they're always uh, around me and, and then the vision uh, gets uh, wider and wider because I say there are more and more people around me. I, I thought I think maybe it's Jap maybe Japanese. Some Japanese high school girls are uh, just playing and singing and yeah, and hang out with their friends. And near them, there are some businessmen, some workers that sit around, sit, sit on the grass, and they have drinks, and they, they talk loud and very happy. It's a really peaceful and cheerful place. I really feel relaxed. Creating this group has really been a dream come true. The greatest lesson it's taught me is that people are essentially all the same. Most people are just searching to find greater peace, greater happiness, and greater connection with others. And then forming this group has been extremely meaningful because connecting heart to heart with these people has allowed me to interact with China and its culture on a deeper level than I ever have before. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.